YouTube, it's Jay. Hey, so today I want to talk about a game, it's a practice game um, that uh, I invented many, many years ago. Um, back in the day uh, when I played at CM's place, there, there were a couple of us that were there pretty much every day. Um, I would get there fairly early. Uh, at the time I was out of work, so I was using tournaments to, to support myself. So I would go into CM's place early to warm up and practice, and then I'd go out and play the tournament, and then I'd probably come back to CM's place afterwards, and or, or I'd just call it a day, whatever the case might be. But um, among the people that were there, there was a guy named Skip, and Skip was a very good player. Um, he played, uh, he, he'd always enter the regional events when they came through, uh, but he, he really didn't go out and, and try to follow it and, and play in other places. He mainly just played when it was right there. Um, but Skip was actually a really good player. Um, he and I were about even. Uh, and we would, we would play, just kind of for the heck of it, pretty much every day. And we, we would play nine ball and we'd play straight pool. Um, but you know, you, you play those long enough and you kind of go, okay, let's play something different today. And we'd play bulliards or we'd play cribbage, which is a, a really cool game we'll talk about at some time. Uh, and I, uh, at the time, I was probably one of the few players who put as much time into my safety game as I did into my playing game. Uh, so, you know, where most players are doing drills to pocket balls, here I am doing things to practice safeties. And so I came up with what I call the safety game. And the safety game works like this. Um, you start with a nine ball rack, uh, with, nine, with regular nine ball break, following basically the four balls to a rail rule. Uh, and uh, you, then uh, shoot kind of normally, except you don't get any points for pocketing balls, you don't get any points for making the nine ball, you don't get any points for the rack. Your points completely come from safeties. And so uh, I'm going to show you the different scoring that you have. Uh, it's a point game. Uh, there are no negative points, it's all positive points. So. Uh, you don't lose points for doing things. Uh, you, if you foul, you don't lose a point, your opponent gets a point. So you tend to want to have uh, a fairly high number for the win, so like 20 or 25 or 50. Uh, Skip and I used to play 50 points. Um, and it's, it's, it's a really strategic game, very difficult. Uh, it'll never be on TV because it's just not one that, um, lends itself to exciting TV because you're literally trying to hook each other constantly. But basically it follows Texas Express rules. Uh, so, you know, ball in hand on a foul, uh, ball fouls only. Um, the idea being to save your opponent. So let's take a look at some situations.
But this is actually a, a very strategic game. Um, it requires very good touch. Uh, and as you're playing it, you'll develop more of a sense of where safeties are and where they'll lie. Um, I actually really like this game. Um, but of course, having been somebody who focused on safeties as, a, uh, as an important shot, uh, within my practice routines, um, you know, yes, I had an advantage in it for a little while. And then uh, once, I, I, maybe the, the third or fourth time we played it, um, suddenly Skip was uh, keeping up with me on it. Um, and it opened the door to a lot of safety shots in our regular games of nine ball and straight pool that we maybe wouldn't have noticed if we didn't play this game. So anyhow, I'll let you go. Uh, that's the safety game. If you like what you see, hit like, hit subscribe, ding the notification bell, and we'll see you next time.